The other big story of the day here, Twilla High School instructor in jail tonight facing rape charges, accused of having sex with a student. New specialist Nicole Val joining us live right now. Nicole, it appears a tip from a student is what led to these accusations. Yes, Mike, I'll get to that, but the 32-year-old instructor and military uh, U.S. Army recruiter had been working here at Tooele High School for the last five months, and according to arresting documents, he was in a portable classroom just like this one behind me, behind locked doors when the alleged rapes occurred. I totally think this is completely unacceptable. Reaction from students. Uh, it's a little hard to process because, you know, you only hear this kind of stuff in the news. As word spread, one of their teachers is behind bars under investigation for raping a female student. Police say on at least three occasions. The female victim in this case uh, reported that she had been sexually abused by an instructor at the school um, who was learned to be 32 year old Brian Dragon. Police started looking into the accusations against Dragon after a student reported suspicious activity in a classroom to a campus resource officer. Saturday, Dragon was arrested. Today, his charges enhanced. The rape charge was just a more appropriate charge. According to the school district, Dragon was assigned to teach at Tooele High School by the U.S. Army, where he taught four military-style courses two to three days per week, instructing 120 students. A statement from the district reads in part, Brian Dragon has been relieved of any and all duties at Tooele High School. We will continue to provide prevention training to all staff, students and parents on protective factors. Training some students see as necessary. It takes more actions to stop these kind of things from happening because they can happen and when they do happen, we don't really know about it until it's too late. Now, technically, Dragon was not an employee of the Tooele County School District. He was assigned by the U.S. Army STARS program. That's what district officials told me today. I did try to reach out to the spokesperson for that program today, Mike, but I did not receive a call back before news time. Back to you. All right, we'll see what happens here as it goes to the courts. Nicole Val, live for us tonight in Tooele. Nicole, thank you.